Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And thanks for all of you attending Tommy Morgan's wedding. We're so pleased that you could join us on this happy day. And a special thank you to all of those out of time. And I'm going to warn you, I'm pretty to be Um... Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> With the minute. As a dad, whether it be the room or the ride, and the joyous occasion, it's much appreciated for you to be here. There was a smile about those who are so special in our children's lives. Diane and I want to thank Michelle and Brian for making us feel like family for the very first time we met them a couple of years in St. Louis. We felt like there was a bond. And we hope there was some longevity in that relationship. And now with Morgan and Tommy and Gary, we hope that that will continue. So, Brian and Michelle, thank you for always making us feel like that. Even though there are some similarities in our families, Brian works for a bank. I work for a bank. Brian's a senior VP and an attorney. And I work for a bank. <laughs> And I work for the fifth largest bank in the United States. <laughs> Both families have three children with similar names Tom Tim, Lori Jordan, and Anna. I think it's fair to say that our children have been our priorities and have been a similar upbringing in terms of education, school activities, personalities, and those funny stories that are not so funny when they're young, but they're funny now when they're older. And I need to share with you. <laughs> and now we hope that Tom and Morgan have the privilege of passing down similar upbringings, although they're going to say they're doing a little bit better. <laughs> but we hope they're pleasant to <laughs> when, we met Tom, when we met Tom for the first time, we could tell he was smart and positive and a thoughtful young man with a smile. Has anybody ever seen Tom without a smile? <laughs> Moreover, we can tell that Tom is a little part of the Sometimes when we meet someone new, there was this awkward silence and not sure what to say, but with Tom, that was not the case. Time to talk. <laughs> and talk. <laughs> and talk. <laughs> but, as my family would say, I can talk and talk. But he is way more interesting than, than I am. And they also say that I don't listen real well. I think that's what they said, but I don't listen. <laughs> so during the pandemic, we got to know me from every part of the visits to our house, playing games, watching football, hanging out. And that's when I learned a little bit of family. When he did the traditional asking for the words and the marriage, Diana and I came out to the divorce in the room. Not only because we knew this was a great evening, but also hiring us for that tradition of asking for our word of daughters and the marriage. And Jordan, that's a warning for your future life. We ask that you the say. So, Lauren, yes, while Tom is a great young man and you are an amazing young lady who deserves the honor of us. When you were young, he was eating what some would say a handful. Yeah. Uh, you did not like taking naps at daycare. So the other to the top there folks would tell us to be restless and look like you have to get sleep. Now you love naps. <laughs> and over time you occasionally like that you like to bite the arms of your legs. I still remember sitting in the daycare director's office advising me that they have to suspend it for a week due to your incessant need to chew on other children's arms. <laughs> Now, 
That's not to say that they're retired to or they are feeling well. And mom and I would just say, stop it up, we're going to school. But they really didn't know perfect attendance was over there. That was worth it. So worth it. So worth honor for it. <laughs> and I'm so grateful you did not call Bob Perry, so I was in love. Thought about it. Thought about it many times. <laughs> I remember all those bonding moments with you and Bob. They there over the years, we attended all of our elementary school field trips, so we could dance and do gymnastics classes and do it from our school. Then she said you packed you to college with some key photos of those events when you were younger, attached to your boxes that were mail, yep. that all of your story friends were made. As a dad, it's not going to see those special mom and daughter and father moments. Now you talk to them daily and you have to come online for the place. Of course, no one's life is going to be in the rainbows. So there have been some challenges with all of your family members who wish that you didn't have to experience. We know that those are not easy, but this is a second day that the team is not going to work. The law school year does a nickel at a young age and grandparents come to mind. I think about your close relationship with my dear brother, Jim. When you were growing up, I can share one story about you. You would get that smile and just smile when you heard them about you. I think it's fair to say you were his favorite, and I know who he was. He's looking down at you today as a child of the Holy Ghost. My dear brother, and best friend, you know, love you, girl. Before I know you asked him to ensure that Anthony included in the celebration today and I should have Yes. That's always tough to do at a joyous celebration. But when the two of you were very young, many of you thought you were twins. It didn't help the fact that Mom and I color coordinated every event every holiday that people probably have a possession. Fourth of July, you were dressed in red, white, blue. You were Santa Claus and a rainbow. Our uh, Santa Claus and a reindeer. So that also kind of contributed to that. I know that you shared time, shared the end of the time, so I know that he's an important part of your life and still is. And I have to say, with being siblings, do not really remember you and Andrew fighting too much. You saved that for your sister. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. Good morning. 
And I closed this note, I want to share a moment with you and even more. Because I remember what you just said. And I said this to all three of my kids. So for those parents that have not had children yet, parents have both had children soon. Something I don't think about. But when the nurse handed me to you, there were three things I said to you. I love you. Then you are going to college. <laughs> and lastly, I whispered, I hope you find your love. Well, here we are now under my name. And I say it again. I love you. You did go to college. <laughs> and I sincerely believe you found your true love for time. I had come full circle as a dad. And for that, I am eternally grateful to have you my daughter. I love you. Now I ask everyone to raise their best to toast an amazing couple. <laughs> Well, and Morgan Carroll, <laughs> congratulations, and may your lives be filled with happiness. Long live your great family. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you?